some of the documentation regarding creating certificates for SRM has been a little vague or lacking. I decided to create this video here mapping out some of the commands that need to be ran in order to create the files for you. The top left has the files that we're running and again this is for SRM that's where you can tell by the .p12 file. I also created a openssl.com file in my hold directory here and if you look here's what's inside that directory I mean inside that file. For SRM you want to make sure the common name says SRM and the extended key usage are server auth and client auth. You could also add a subject alternate name of the FQDN of the server itself. Now running that command you get your CSR file and your key file. So I already went and submitted the CSR and got my CRT file back. Once you get that we're going to use OpenSSL to convert that to a P12 file which this is what is actually used within SRM itself. vCenter will use a PFX file and really for SRM this is essentially the last step. You don't need to proceed from here. Uh, I went ahead and outlined it because this process works the exact same for vCenter. You would just change the out file to rui.pfx. So once we go ahead and convert that you'll see it appears there in the background. So there we have the cert file or the cert, the p12 cert. Now I also like to go ahead and convert the uh, rui.cert file uh, using OpenSSL and really like I said this is not needed for SRM you only just need the p12. With vCenter you're going to need the rui.cert file which we're converting right now as well as the rui.key file which as you can see we have our rui cert, we have our rui key and we have p12. Again vCenter itself would be pfx and that's it. 